welcome back to random lifestyle vlog and welcome to an advent calendar unboxing video so this is the first video in the series and uh today we're going to unboxing not one but three advent calendars uh from the bomb so we're going to unbox the tinsel Man my fancy which is the biggest one and also two smaller ones with just the bath bombs and uh like all the tiny stuff so yeah uh we'll see i'll put the timestamps down below so if you're interested in seeing one only one of these uh you'll be directed directly to this one um but if you want to see all of them that's fine too uh before i start i'd like to just uh, tell you just a few words about what to expect this advent season again if you're not interested in me talking uh then you can just directly uh, go to the unboxing thing using the timestamps down below but i promise i won't be talking long i'll just try to uh, keep things short so first of all uh you can expect a giveaway so we're going to announce that giveaway quite uh, soon uh i think beginning of october this is where you can actually expect it uh so keep your eyes peeled another thing is that this is i'm going to focus mostly on multi-branded advent calendars so this is what you should expect uh, there will be like two or three single branded ones but most of them will be multi-branded uh because I just enjoy unboxing multi-branded advent calendars a bit more. Uh, also, I'm going to focus mostly on um, premium uh, advent calendars, uh, but I'm going to do some classics too, like Look Fantastic, Glossy Box or Birch Box, don't worry. Uh, and uh, what you, what else you can actually expect? I think there'll be some um, grooming advent calendars too. Uh, so yeah. And I'm also thinking about some non-beauty stuff like maybe gin or wine. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, for now, mostly multi-branded, mostly premium. Uh, funny enough, uh, this three advent calendars are neither um, multi-branded nor uh, premium. They're just like the cheapest advent calendars. Um, one of the cheapest ones on, on the market now. So yeah. But uh, I do love uh, having like a bath, uh, especially around the time of the year. So yeah, that's something I'm going to enjoy for sure. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So the biggest one, I'm going to start with the biggest one first. It's quite heavy too, uh, and it opens like this, like a book. I'm not. It smells like. Uh, it smells like a. Um, I don't know like what, but it's like a, a little bit overpowering. Uh, I think it's just a mixture of mixture of scents. I'll just try and keep it like that. It's quite flimsy. I don't really expect anything too fancy. Uh, you know, it's just that the price is not that massive. I'll just le leave all the details in the description box below. Uh, so the first box in here is a buff bomb, I'm assuming. How do I get in there? Okay, I think I have to just ruin this foil thing. Okay, so we have a... Is it a buff bomb? I think there's a description in the, here. Okay, so this is let it be solid shower gel. So this is not a buff bomb, this is like a shower gel. It contains glycerin, that's cool. It smells... It smells nice. It actually... It, I thought it was. It would be like a citrusy thing because it looks like lemon, like lemony color, but no. It's more like a honey yeah it's like a very sweet like of honey and um, van vanilla maybe yeah nice one so yeah solid shower gel in the first box here okay the second one is here it's luckily i have long nails because you know it's not easy to open these things in general and this looks like a mini muffin okay no it's like a muffin with a carrot Oh no, I think <laughs> this is supposed to be like a snowman. Yeah, this is a little snowman buff model, but it's like a, it, it doesn't really look that good, does it? <laughs> it looks like a muffin with a carrot, honestly. But yeah, it's supposed to be a snowman. I think someone actually miscalculated his eyes because there's like a two eyes in here, the nose is here, and there's like another eye. So, a little bit creepy, but um, okay. And this is a snowman bath mallow. And it smells lovely. 
it's just very sweet. It's very difficult to describe any fragrances here or scents because like, you know, I can smell pretty much the whole advent calendar, but that smells really nice. It's very sweet. It's a very sweet fragrance. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to have a bath tonight, I guess. So number three is here. This one was faster. And here we have something a little bit different. This is a Dr. Food, Dr. Food, food scrub. Yeah. That's actually quite cool. Oh my, she has a sniff. Yeah, it smells very herbal. So number four is here. And we have a bath bomb. It says joy. So it's a little bit Christmassy. Mm, and yeah, joy to world bath blaster. So another bath bomb, cool. The more bath, bath bombs, the happier I am, I guess. Because uh, I do love that kind of stuff. Yeah, then we have number five. Oh, this is very, this is very fruity. And this one is Santa Hat Bath Mallow. Is it with Santa Hat? Mm, I'm not really sure. But yeah, it smells lovely. It actually smells really nice. So yeah, I do like it. Now we have number six, the tiny one in here. And what is this? This is like the cutest little tub. And this is spiced cranberry tinted lip balm. Let me just have a quick look. It looks like this inside. And it smells like cranberry. Yeah, that's quite cool actually. So number seven is here. I don't know if you can see, but this this calendar is a little bit too big to just like carry it. Again, it smells very fruity. So this must be so, but I can't really tell you by the pictures which one that actually should be. Uh, I'm guessing that this is either winter warmer soap, I don't, I, although it doesn't really look or smell very winter warmery. Snow globe? Um, it doesn't really look like that one. Or sky at night soap. I don't know. It's just one of the soaps in here, but honestly, I don't really know which one that is. Because uh, the pictures here, mm, I can't really see any picture that looks like this. So, eight is a tiny one in here again, and I think we have another lip product. Yeah, so it's another lip thing, but this time it's actually Apple Crumble Lip Scrub. That's cool, that's something different. So we have a lip balm and then we have lip scrub. It smells lovely, it smells like an apple. <laughs> and yeah, it's a little scrubby, you can already tell. So yeah, these are, these are really cute. So number nine here, can't really show you where it is because it's like this calendar is very big and flimsy so i can't really lift it too high and then we have another soap this one looks really cool yeah this is this one looks like something to eat and smells like a like a like a kind of cocktail mm, that you would have like a tropical cocktail again oh no this must be candy cane mountain soap yeah that must my, that must be this one so yeah this is quite cool so number 10 here, and this is something white. It looks like a massive pill, and it says vanilla on top. Vanilla is good. Oh, that smells lovely. That smells really, really good. And this is vanilla shower mixer. Yeah, that's a really nice vanilla scent. Not overpowering, really nice, like a very, like a creamy vanilla. Really good. Number 11 here. Yeah, this looks again like something to eat. What is this? It has a very soapy scent to it. And I think this is the Wow Factor Shampoo Bar. Oh, shampoo in a bar. That's really cool. That's really cool. I've tried some shampoos in a bar before, and honestly, 
I have like a mixed uh, feelings. I mean, some of them were really cool. Some of them didn't really wash my hair properly. But yeah, I'm always uh, I'm always up to try something new. So yeah. So what number are supposed to do now? Was it 12? I really hope it was 12 because I can't find 11 anywhere. So I hope this one was 11. I'm just really bad at it. <laughs> okay, and this is like a cup of something. This is hand in the cookie jar, hand treatment. That's so cool. I really hope it smells like cookies. Okay. It doesn't really smell like cookies, but um it has like, a, like this sugary kind of scent to it. It's still nice. I'll just love to have some like a cookie fragrance hand cream, I guess. 13. Unlucky number for some. Hopefully it won't be that unlucky for us. So the 13, another muffin. And there's something missing here. Hang on, okay. Okay, so we have a muffin and there's like an elf thing. That's supposed to be here yeah so this is elf on the shelf buff now that reminds me of something a lot like a cranberry i think it's a very cranberry fragrance yeah that's quite cool so 14 is here and another buff uh, another bar and we have another soap bar, yeah. These actually look so cool. Uh, and this one must be Sky at Night soap. I think so. Because as I mentioned before, they don't really look much like on the picture. Yeah. Number 15 now, it's also flimsy. 15 is here and we have another buff bone. This one says Xmas. Yes. Oh, it has really nice powdery flower, floral scent. And this must be Christmas Buff Blaster. Yeah, this one is really lovely. 16 here. Oh my god. Opening of this calendar is not the most, the easiest thing in the world. And this one doesn't say anything, but it has like a Christmas tree in here. And this is Merry and Bright Buff Blaster. 17. I'm really struggling with holding this together. Because, uh, oh well. Another buff bomb. This is Buff Bubble Buff Blaster. And it smells lovely too. I think again, this is a cranberry with something. I think so. But yeah, it's really difficult to differentiate, differentiate uh, fragrances uh, when you have all those like uh, overwhelming scents coming from it. 18. Another soap. So this one looks like this. Again, again looks like something that you could eat. Doesn't really smell like something you could eat, um, luckily. I think this is Santa Baby Soap. Yeah, it must be. Santa baby. Cool. Okay, 19. 19 is here. And another bath bomb. So this foil thing guys is really it's really annoying. But I kind of kind of get why they did that. Kind of keeps everything in place. So this is cranberry shower mixer. Yeah, it says cranberry on top, so you can actually tell by just by looking at it. Yeah, it smells lovely. 20. Another muffin. Another muffin, this time yellow and gold. And this is five gold rings buff marrow. Pretty cute. I'm going to hold it like this. I think it's easier. I don't know why I didn't that, do that from the uh, beginning, but oh well. 21 in here. Another, another uh, muffin thing. Snowflakes on your tongue, buff mode. Yeah. So now 22. It's uh, already half open because well, yeah. Uh, and this time we have another tab in here. And this is grapefruit and nectarine body polish. 
that's really good to have. I'm actually in need of another body polish because I'm running out of uh, the one I got. And um, let me just have a quick sniff. Quick, quick sniff. Hmm. The scent is not the most amazing. It smells like it smells like um, lemon and lime, maybe. I know it's great for the nectarine, but I can only smell like lemon and lime. Like, a, you know what? When you have like those toilet sprays, and uh, so it smells a bit like that. It's probably the worst scent in this whole calendar so far. Everything else smells lovely. This not so much. So twenty three. So I think we have two last, uh, two last items. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we have another soap in the bar. And again, it smells really nice. And this must be, I think it's snow, snow globe soap. I think it is. And now we have 24, the Christmas Eve in here. And this is going to be, what do you think it's going to be? It's another soap. This one looks really cool too. Looks like um, some kind of fruit. I think this is actually Santa Baby. Oh no, this is Xmas Pad Soap. Yes. So, that's the one. So that's everything in the first advent calendar. I actually, I hurt my finger. Ow. Anyway, so that's everything in the first uh, advent calendar, the biggest one. So as you've seen, we had a like, selection of bath bombs, uh, soaps. Uh, we had some body scrub, foot scrub, uh, what else, some uh, lip this was little cute lip uh, thingies. So yeah, uh, I did. Oh, and a hand cream. So yeah, I did enjoy that one for sure. And let's have a look at the two small ones now. So let's start with the bait, sleep, uh, be merry, and repeat. I actually hurt my finger opening the first one, so I need to be more careful. I'm bleeding now. Uh, well, uh, the only consolation is that I'm going to have a really nice bath tonight. So uh, the first calendar, um, the first of the small ones, uh, and I can't find number one. Okay, number one is here. Let's hope this one will be easier to open. Yeah, it's not foil, it's just paper. So yeah, hopefully. So we have like a really tiny... Oh, it's actually really cute because they tell you uh, what you have uh, here under like those like, tiny doors. So this is a pink pamper soap, a luxuriously scented cleansing bar made with lang lang and chamomile essential oils for sun kissing softness and it looks like this number two oh my god it's so much more comfortable than paper honestly this is girl power blaster feel the power and enable yourself to soak in a supernova using rosemary and frankincense essential oils you'll be the skin savior and yeah we do have this tiny uh, blaster in a shape of heart Number three, this is Snowflake on your tongue, model. A delicate cranberry and pomegranate snowflake drifting down from the heavens uh, with pure essential lang lang oil. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like this with like little snowflakes on top. Oh, this smells gorgeous. Number four. So this is Passion Fruit Dream Blaster infused with a sweet and fruity passion fruit fragrance and the rolly and lang lang essential oils known for their awakening and arousing properties mm, that sounds interesting and another heart shaped uh, little blaster it smells nice too number five this is icebreaker mallow uh, our battery bear will break the ice to ease you into a relaxed state of mind with pure vetiver and frankincense essential oils it wasn't easy to extract this one from the box. Uh, it looks like this. Nice blue one and like a really nice calming fragrance. Six. It's here. This is uh, Bathe the Rainbow Mallow. Let the natural butters moisture your skin as the pure lang lang and jasmine oils uplift your senses and create an arc of well-being. So yeah, another one like this. Number seven, and another blue item in here. 
Okay, this one is really pretty blue on this peppermint patch so brace yourself for a minty adventure with our most energizing soap yet. Oh, this is this smells like peppermint. Let the peppermint and spermine oils uh, work their magic and leave you feeling fresh in a field of fun. It smells lovely. Very, very minty. Number eight here. Okay, so this one is a strawberry creamer containing moisturizing cocoa and shea butters and rolled by hand in cranberry seeds. Contains lavender and geranium essential oils. Yeah, that smells really lovely. Number nine. Guys, there's something you need to know. Taking these out of the boxes just takes ages, so I'm, um, you know, you're probably not going to see this, uh, my struggle, but trust me, struggle is real. This is Ginger Love Mallow, and it looks again like something to eat. I think I'm just hungry. Uh, how can you not fall for this little gingerbread man? Uh, with a sweet gingerbread fragrance, pure black pepper and sweet orange, sweet orange essential oils. I can actually smell sweet orange. Yeah, very Christmassy. Number 10 in here. So this is number 10. Uh, it is a sweet Sunday soap, a sweet combination with enough clary sage and bergamot essential oils to leave you feeling bootylicious. Yeah, that smells quite cool. And I don't even mind the bergamot thing because bergamot is like too citrusy for me usually, but no. That actually smells nice. Number 11. Another heart shaped one. This is crazy stupid love blaster with a passion flower scent and pure jasmine and lang lang essential oils. This heart detect buff blaster will leave your skin soft and your senses seduced. Oh, that's really nice. That's that's like a proper sexy fragrance. Number 12. It looks already open, but it's not my fault, guys. This calendar is honestly. If you want to open it, it over like advent uh, period uh, it will look like this so um yeah <laughs> it's a really cool um product it's a really great value for money but it just doesn't uh, look that amazing once you start opening it so this one is a candy cane kid mellow and it says become a candy cane kid with a sweet scent and pure spearmint in bergamot and bergamot essential oils to refresh and revive as the natural butters delight and dazzle. I can't really smell spearmint to be honest or any type of mint but it smells nice. Number 13 so this is berry bar soap come to the berry bar will give you a cocktail of pure magnolia rosewood essential oils to leave you feeling intoxicated and exhilarate. exhilarate. Oh yeah that smells really lovely like all these products smell amazing uh, I think uh, apart from the one product in the previous advent calendar, everything smells gorgeous. 14, here. Father Blissmas Blaster. Another heart-shaped one. Scent has been working all year to bring pure ginger and cinnamon essential oils to all with an added treat of natural butter to soften your skin this season. Can't really smell that much of cinnamon, but again, really pretty. Although... I can smell cranberry everywhere. I don't know why. I think it, it's probably because of the, you know, the whole mix of uh, scents here. Number 15. So another little heart. This is Fizz the Season Blaster. Pop the cork on pure bergamot and lang lang essential oils to enliven and excite with a lavish spritz on top of natural butters to soften the skin. 16. Down here. So this is a Stardust soap. A star-studded sensual wash um, with the famous jasmine and clary sage essential oils renowned for their aphrodisiac and intoxicating pro properties. Mm. Smells like soap, honestly. I'm not really sure how this can be aphrodisiac or intoxicating. It smells like soap. Nice soap, but like a normal soap that you get in a shop or somewhere. Okay. 17. So this is Polar Express Blaster and all aboard the Polar Express. Watch the snowflakes fall as you sled along the slippery slope, soaking up the lemongrass and the rolly essential oils. 18. So number 18 actually looks quite lovely. It has like petals. Uh, it crumbles everywhere also. Like, you know, I have like have, uh, 
like a bits of bath bombs everywhere. Anyway, anyway, this is Rose Creamer Light Contemporary Floral Fragrance. It's this bomb cosmetic bath creamer has also been rolled by hand with the finest quality Moroccan rose petals. Yeah, you can see petals. 19 is here. Now we have another soap bar in here. This is Bubble Up Soap. Double trouble from this fruity bubble uh, as a pure neroli and lemon essential oil oils create scented suds to heighten the senses. The scent is actually quite unique. I don't know. Is it neroli? I don't think it's neroli. I can maybe lemon, but yeah. Really interesting. Number 20. Okay, so this is another heart shaped one. Um, let me just open the door to read you. This is a sugar plum fairy blaster. She'll sprinkle you in a fairy dust and leave you with magically moisturized skin with pure geranium uh, and frankincense essential oils to leave you feeling serene. Yeah, and it smells heavenly. 21. Again, I'm going to get to it from here. So as you can see, something crumbly will probably struggle to take it out. Okay, so it's a kind of magic mallow sprinkled with the magical joy dreams are made of with a power of uranium and lavender essential oils bringing rainbows to your bath time. Yeah. I'm struggling to find um, numbers in here now because it just looks like a proper mess. 22 is here and I think I'm going to just open it like that. So just make things easier. And we have another soap. And this one... Oh yeah, it wasn't that difficult with this one. This is Take a Bow Soap wrapped with a ribbon. Uh, this show stopper steals the spotlight made with the mold wine scents and stirred with sweet orange and cinnamon essential oils. It does smell a little bit like mold wine. That's cool. 23 here and this calendar is already a mess. So we have another soap in here as you can probably see. Easy one to, to take out luckily. This is Candy Cane Mountain Soap. Hike up to the sweet summit of pure spearmint and peppermint essential oils and candy scent. That's most nothing like mint. Oh well, it smells nice. Not like mint though. So number 24. I think looking, you know, searching for the number is actually uh, the biggest fun in here because yeah, it's here. <laughs> Number 24, the last day. And we have another shape, heart-shaped one. And this is a mold wine blaster. So the spiced uh, concoction with orange and cinnamon essential oils is a cit citrus sensation with all the trimmings. Yeah, it does smell like mold wine. So for Christmas, no, for Christmas Eve, we do have mold wine um, blaster. Sounds quite matching the occasion. So this is the second box. So this is the second box, as you can see after unboxing, it doesn't look so impressive. Uh, there's one more left to go, and honestly, everything is like uh, in like bath bomb crumbles in here. So uh, yeah, um, yeah. Let's get to the last one now. So let's enjoy the view of nice and uh, not touched uh, box for like a couple of more seconds because once I start opening those li little windows it will just look as messy as the previous one. So yeah, number one is here. So I have to tell you like, why it looks so uh, awful once I just start unboxing it because you know it's, sometimes it's difficult to get these products out of the box so I kind of have to tear the, uh, the carton thing a little bit more. Mm, that's why it actually looks like the way it looks. This is Mrs. Blue Sky Soap. It's a beautiful new day. Hey, hey. Uh, blast the haze away with with eucalyptus and rosemary essential oils, which are known to stimulate the senses and lift the fog on a new day. Number two in here. 
Oh, this, uh, this is a hard one. These are the easiest to take out. So this is fabulous plaster, a twisted take on a summertime treat with an almost edible fragrance of sweet strawberries with coconut and lang lang essential oil to leave you feeling fab. It smells nice, but honestly guys, after like unboxing the two previous advent calendars, I can't really tell the difference between fragrances. I can't, I can't hardly tell the, tell the difference. There is some tiny difference, but like, oh well. Uh, number three. So this is something blue, and I think we had it somewhere in a previous box. This is Winter Wonderland Mallow. In the lane, snow is glistening, shimmering, spearmint and tea tree, uh, essential oil, oils. Glaze the land, walking in the winter wonderland. This one actually smells like licorice. It does smell like licorice. Okay, like anise and licorice. Number four here. And uh, this is, I think like these two rolls are actually like the little heart-shaped ones, favorite from, I mean my favorites because I don't really have to struggle to take them out. This is no problem, a blaster. Uh, say goodbye to your problemas uh, as you sit back and relax in the tub. Let the bergamot and mandarin essential oils wash over you and uplift your soul. Number five in here. So this is going to be a bigger one. Maybe hard to take out. So this is all wrapped up mallow. We have wrapped up natural butters and pure sandalwood and patchouli essential oils to create a perfect present for your skin and soul. This is actually really, this smells a little bit like peppermint like you know candy canes but with a cake that's really cool number six in here oh i just tore it off completely i actually think this calendar um is some a bit different construction or something but, but it's a little bit easier to get these things out of the out of the box so this is a bird of a feather mallow uh they say birds of a feather flock together but uh, we say bathe together with essential oil lang lang and patchouli oils to seduce and tempt you into a little love nest. Again, this smells like a soap. Does soap smell sexy? I don't know. Like honestly, all those like fragrances that are supposed to be like, uh, I don't know, sexy or seducing or whatever, they just smell like soap. Number seven. So it's something blue. So this is a Carnival of Love soap, um, a skin softening, delicately scented soap made with a blend of sensuous lang lang and jasmine essential oils. Number eight in here. So this is Cosmic Girl Mallow. Uh, will send you into space as the pure clary sage and bergamot essential oils awaken and heighten the senses uh, to an out of this world level. Number nine. Where is number nine? Number nine. Okay, it's here. So number nine, uh, it's bring on the bubbly mellow. Sip sip hooray! This blend of bubbly bergamot and lang lang pure essential oils are the perfect way to celebrate. It actually smells like prosecco. That's weird. Number ten down here, and I'm struggling again for some reason. Okay, number 10. So this is Snow Globe Soap, a flurry of snowflakes containing peppermint and amaryllis. Essential oils float down to entrance your spirit and soul. Number 11 here. So this is going to be another heart-shaped heart one, my favorites they're just easy to take it out. Chill Out Blaster, the strawberry and vanilla infused waters with lushing lashings of cocoa butter, shea butter and celeroid and geranium pure essential oils uplift your mood. Number 12 in here, this one should be easy to take out because everything around it is, oh this is nice, it's purple. So this is Northern Nights Mallow, be inspired as the lemongrass and geranium pure essential oils cast a natural light and steer your soul and, soul and spirit. Yeah, I love the color of this one. 
13 in here. So um, under 13, we have another soap. This is Free Spirit Soap, full of uplifting scents and rejuvenating pure essential oils to raise your spirit, to raise your spirit, I think, and help cleanse the mind and body. It's very citrusy, not my favorite. Number 14 is here, and another heart shape. My finger. Another heart shaped one. This is Space Queen Blaster. And it says, let these butterfly waters transport you into a hyperspace, a buff bomb wolf, and out of this ward sensual fragrance filled with rosemary and frankincense essential oils to restore and warm. Number 15 is here. Now we do have another hard thing. This is Crowning Glory Blaster, the Queen of Clean. This rich and regal buff bomb contains an indulgent caramel and pink pepper fragrance which will be released into the sunset colored water. Number 16 down here on the bottom. I think it's quite easy to guess which roll contains what. So, so this is a candy box soap. Feel like an like a kid in a candy store with this delectable recipe of bergamot and sweet orange essential oils to enliven and uplift. Number 17 up here. And this is a candy cane lane blaster. Tiptoe down to candy cane lane when the festivities are brewing. Let the peppermint and bergamot pure essential oils heighten the excitement. 18 up here. And this one might be okay. I'll start it off. I'm not really fast because I'm not going to. I'm going. I mean, they'll be gone. Uh, by the end of this month, I'm guessing. I mean, I'm having like a bath every day now. Hmm. What number was that? Because I kind of just tore it off and lost it. Okay, it was 18. So this is a royal bath smallow. Pamper yourself like a princess as, as precious jewels glisten in the water. Crowned with clary sage and chamomile essential oils, you'll be royal ready. Number 19 here and another soap. This one is white. So number 19, this is Baby or a Star Soap, a flurry of snowflakes and a calm peace descends upon you as the pure essential oils lavish you with their natural restorative. 20. Uh, so this one is actually a yellow heart and this is Angel Above Blaster. Bomb's very own guardian angel has been sent to bless you with a pure fr frankincense and mirror essential oils to calm your senses. 21 up here. And as you can see, another buff blaster. A blue one this time. This is Bake It Easy Mellow. Uh, relax, we've got your cravings covered. Enjoyed our sweet treat. Inspired mallow with pure rosemary and cedar wood to satisfy the soul and relax your state of mind. 22 here down on the bottom. So this one is another soap. A pink one this time. And this is Kiss from a Rose Soap. Handcrafted using nothing but the finest ingredients, the soap will gently kiss you clean with pure rose and lavender essential oils for a sensual wash. 23 is here and this is going to be what? Another soap. This time it's crystal water soap, so a blue one. It's called, yeah. Uh, and it says iced water freshness locked into a bar with a whirlpool of essential oils and a fragrance scent with lavender essential oil. And the last one, a Christmas Eve here. So it's going to be another heart, I'm guessing. Yes, it's a heart. This is pink Christmas blaster. Let the sweet scent settle around you as the rose tinted snowflakes of pure sweet orange and nutmeg essential oils calm the soul. So yeah, there you go. All three boxes unboxed. Uh, I have a little bit of a headache because there are like too many scents around me, but I'm surely going to enjoy them. So um, I have to tell you, they all smell lovely. I mean, like they were literally like a maybe one product in each advent calendar that didn't really 
smell that amazing for me but you know this is just my personal preference of course uh yeah they all smell lovely and i think this is such a they're like really cheap like these these ones the smaller ones are like i think i paid like 16 pounds for them so they're like very cheap and uh yeah i think it's really cool to open them actually in um, december when it's really cold and ha you can have a bath like every day a different smelling bath so that's quite cool the only thing i would say maybe the christmas eve in the smaller calendars was like the, the tiny tiny bath bomb maybe we could just have something bigger those days but in general yeah i do enjoy these advent calendars i have like a, i'm just looking at my big stash of like uh, bath products now and i think i'm going to have a bath i'm just like, going to wrap this up and have a bath uh but yeah um robert will probably kill me when he says all, he when he sees all this um massive pile of bath bombs uh but oh well at least i'm happy <laughs> so yeah thank you very much for watching this was the first uh, advent calendar unboxing video i promise you the next ones will be shorter because i'm not going to unbox like three boxes in the in one video but these were so similar that i just didn't want, really want to spread them across like three different videos so thank you very much for watching please remember to subscribe to our channel please remember to have a look on our instagram because we're moving some unboxing videos there uh, and uh, see you soon.